But in my own mind, I am, you know, Fuji Films' answer to uh, Cecil B. DeMille's. I am some 1930s movie-making uh, mogul with a megaphone and a, you know, a, a thingy. Not a stupid haircut, you know, one of those um, peaks. What did I say? During the meanwhilest. During the meanwhilest? No, no, don't no. About it. Well, hello, it's Dexter and me uh, on YouTube, uh, but for one week only. <laughs> now, before I go into my uh, last video, before a kind of reverse hibernation, if you want, when all the other animals are coming out uh, of their uh, winter um, dens, I'm going to go in and hibernate um, and hopefully emerge into a much uh, more healthy and freer world where we can actually go out and take pictures. Uh, but for my last video, before my little break, uh, I thought I'd make uh, another little video about uh, how I go about filming these, you know, these extravaganzas. Um, I was going to call them productions, but I think production is a bit, bit too grand. But in my own mind, I am, you know, Fuji Films answer to uh, Cecil B. DeMille's. I am some 1930s movie-making uh, mogul with a megaphone and a, you know, a, a thingy. Not a stupid haircut, you know, one of those um, peaks, you know, whatever. Anyway, I know I'm probably more more Blackwood than Hollywood, <laughs> but there we are. Uh, that's my own little uh, fantasy in my mind. Um, and I'm an avid filmer. I like, like my photography. Uh, I take pictures wherever I go, and I tend to film stuff wherever I go. And I've got um, a library of archive material going back as far as I think 2006, 2007, around about then. So, you know, quite a lot, a good few terabytes uh, of stuff uh, filmed on various cameras, phones, uh, things like that. Now, most of the stuff I film sort of on an ad hoc basis these days is is, is Dexter, to be honest. I film, I film an awful lot of his antics. Um, I know a lot of you um, probably tune in to this channel for Dexter. I, I, I probably would if I was if I was a fan and watching. Uh, it would be for him that I'm watching, not for the not for me or the video content. Um, but you know, uh, Dexter is for those of you who don't know, he's a se now seven year old uh, border terrier. Uh, we've had him uh, from new <laughs> since he was a little pup, and uh, he really has. He's transformed transformed our lives, and to be honest, is probably one of the main reasons uh, I'm still alive today. I don't know, without him, I don't know what might have happened. Anyway, when it comes down to uh, getting ideas and plans for a video, uh, my notebook and my phone is my friend. I'm always like jotting down little ideas of films that I want to make. Now, obviously, if I buy a new piece of gear, then that's, you know, quite an obvious sort of um, a video to make. Uh, otherwise, it's all about, uh, well, it was intended to be this year, about going out and about to various lovely, uh, very accessible locations and filming landscape photography vlogs there. But it hasn't been, it hasn't happened, and, you know, uh, after a couple of vlogs towards the tail end of last year, this year has been spent indoors, uh, a forced um, imprisonment, if you like. Anyway, filming-wise, most of the stuff I film on my Fujifilm X-T3, it's a, it's a, it's a great uh hybrid camera. Uh, it shoots fantastic stills and it shoots really lovely video. Uh, I tend to shoot everything uh, and I, what I'll do, I'll pop up my menu settings now as I'm chatting about this, but I tend to shoot everything uh, at uh, 25 frames per second. Now it used to be 24, now it's 25 uh, with a shutter speed of 1 50th. Uh, usually I shoot uh, aperture wide open and then just use ISO to, to control to control exposure. Um, all the technical kind of stuff, uh, well, I'll, I'll, as I said, I'll pop my menu up now, but it's like H265 long 
gop, whatever, or I don't know. <laughs> and I film everything, pretty well everything, in the Eterna uh, film profile with a couple of little adjustments. Um, I do intend uh, later on this year, when I can get out and about, to make more uh, adventurous, adventurous films, uh, to start shooting in um, F log. Now, I don't use Final Cut Pro, so uh, color grading in iMovie is quite, uh, what's the word I'm thinking for, thinking of, uh, basic. Uh, it's quite sort of, um, it's not, it's not all encompassing like you can't apply lookup tables and things like that but you can you know you can grade it and you can then apply uh, a look uh, or a, one of iMovie's filters to it and I intend to muck up with those um, you know uh, as and when I can. Uh, other types of footage uh, I use my phone my GoPro or my drone and my phone I tend to use for uh, slow motion footage mainly and for shooting uh, footage of Dexter. Um, my GoPro uh, I use uh, on the car uh, or um, for shooting time lapse it's really good at that. I've got one of these like little egg timery things that goes on top of your uh, tripod and then I attach the GoPro to that and it can make like sweeping uh, time lapse films. Uh, the drone uh, I don't uh, I don't use it enough. I, I love using my drone. I love flying it but it's become a pain in the ass now because you've got a register which I have you know I've, I've registered my drone I'm registered as a drone pilot. Um, but you know, I, when I went out to fly it last year, I got stopped a couple of times. You know, have you got the necessary permit for this? Yes, I have. So you've got to get it out. You've got to show them. And it's just getting a bit of a pain, you know, and I fly probably for, I don't know, half an hour to get 90 seconds footage sometimes, sometimes more, uh, but it's a lot of flying for not much uh, end result unfortunately but what I find a drone can do is add like a lot of variation and drama uh, into my videos and some of the feedback I've got people do tend to like uh, the drone footage anyway I shoot everything uh, at 4k uh, all normal speed footage at uh, 4k uh, and I uh, upload it as 4K as well now onto YouTube. Um, yes, it's taken up a lot of storage on my computer, um, but storage these days is is relatively cheap. Um, I've got a working SSD that I work off, obviously, uh, but once everything has been processed and dealt with, uh, it's then transferred to like, you know, a normal, a high capacity spinning hard drive because you know uh, I'm not going to need to uh, probably need to access the footage again uh, and if I do I just copy it onto the SSD uh, and use it from from there and now all these cameras and you know uh, 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 lights as well and whatever is held up with an array of tripods that I've collected over the years I've got my um, three-legged thing uh, Brian uh, which I've had for years now and I love to bits it's a fantastic tripod I've got a Manfrotto aluminium one which when I bought it the man in the shop said that probably last longer than I will and <laughs> he's probably right it's pretty well bomb proof that's been through a lot of things with me uh, I've got a, a small Manfrotto um, uh, video uh, tripod which is is all right for small cameras but you can't put anything uh, too heavy on it it just won't hold it and I've got like one of these little Manfrotto pixie whatever they're called uh, tabletop tripods and I've also got a gorilla pod uh, I'm, I'm looking up there to, to remind me of what I got because it's all on a shelf up there so um, yeah so that's what I use uh, for those audio wise uh, I've got this Rode uh, wireless mic I've also got a Rode uh, is it called a Rode Video Micro Pro um, like a shotgun mic which sits on top of the camera I uh, haven't used that for a while since I've got this uh, and I also have uh, two wired uh, Lavalier mics uh, one made by Boyer uh, which I thought was broken but isn't and another one made by I don't know just some generic 
third party uh, company who I don't know, but it was a cheap off Amazon and it works fine. It's it, the sound quality is, is, is fine. I do record all my video live, uh, which is a bit of a pain sometimes because uh, sometimes I, I muck my words up and I stammer and I twitch and whatever and it's just I'm not a natural sort of speaker to to camera so sometimes I have to go back and uh, uh, do things again do things again do things again no, you see like jump cuts uh, when I when I mucked up but now once I've got all my video footage shot it's a case then of just like uh, choosing the still images I want uh, to to accompany um, the movie uh, stuff in one of my videos as well as some music uh, to play I, uh, if you've watched uh, a number of my videos you'll know that I put like a montage of images at the end usually and uh, I set that to music uh, now my channel is not and never will be monetized so uh, I get like not copyright strikes but I get copyright infringements I think virtually every video I put up do I feel guilty about using an artist's music sometimes but then you know they're they're, they're big enough you know I, I'm like a little fish in this pond they are massive uh, making enough money as it is probably but uh, yeah sometimes I feel do feel guilty but you know anyway uh I you know they can afford it they can afford to cut me and small time filmmakers like me some slack you know you may disagree i don't know but uh, but there we are uh all i know is if somebody wanted to use one of my images in a video they can as long as they give me credit for it uh, and you know I, I give credit for all the music that i use in my videos so as long as i'm credited for it go ahead and use one of my images i don't mind i've only ever had uh two videos blocked outright for copyright reasons one uh contained a song by acdc and another a song by the eagles both massive massive bands who should know better come on angus you know and come on you know joe whatever your name is glenn free you know cut me some slack here i've also had videos that have been uh blocked in certain countries uh but i'm not gonna miss i am uh, not getting my video showed in syria iran uh north korea and cuba i'll probably get shot for all this now oh god as a thought right i love those countries fantastic places and please show my videos just not this one all right storage wise as you know i, I covered that uh a couple of videos ago uh, it's quite a simple storage solution it's all on external hard drives and and uh, like a working ssd um, and once i finish the video uh, i don't keep the project in imovie i delete it all so i just got the finished video stored uh, on hard drive and then obviously the copy on uh, youtube as far as editing is concerned uh, i use imovie um and it's quite a simple program to use even though i probably only use like about i don't know 50 percent of it um there's loads of stuff that i don't use on there like filters and effects and things like that um which i haven't really got into perhaps i should i don't know and perhaps i should have persevered i did trial final cut pro uh, last year perhaps i should have persevered with that and stumped up the 400 quid for the license which is a bit uh I know it's a bit steep, but there we are. Perhaps I should have done that. Perhaps I will in future. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not the greatest editor of videos. You don't say. Uh, but it's a process that I do really enjoy. Uh, I really enjoy the process of sitting down and knitting disparate pieces of, you know, stuff together to make uh, a video. Uh, I really should take the time to learn more. Uh, but, you know, hey-ho. Uh, and time is something that I and most of us have uh, right now. Uh, I do tend to make videos in uh, a few weeks in advance. Uh, like I'm filming this one on the 5th of February and it's not going to go up until the 27th of March. Now, this does make me think sometimes, well, what if I, you know, what if something happened to me? What if I dropped dead, you know? Uh, nobody would know. I mean... I write blog posts in advance 
and I write and I do these videos uh, in advance. So I guess you'd only know uh, if you uh, know me or um, when they do stop altogether with, you know, no prior notice. <laughs> One of the channels I used to enjoy watching on uh, YouTube was a guy called Finding Middle Earth. And he just stopped making videos. Bang, like that. Um, now, obviously, people were in the comment sections end of his last video thinking, well, what's happened to, to Eric? Uh, his name is Eric Marx, or still is Eric Marx. Uh, and he made a couple of posts saying, oh, I will be back. I will explain what's happened. I haven't quit YouTube, but that was now like three, two or three years ago. So I guess uh, he has quit YouTube without, without saying goodbye. Um, and he had something like 30 odd thousand subscribers. I've only got 700 and something uh, but if I ever decide uh, to stop making videos I will let you know that, that I'm uh, not going to make any more. Anyway I think it's fair to say that in my film making uh, existence my ambitions greatly exceed reality. Uh, I have these grand plans for videos and then they, they never really come uh, come to fruition but I treat the whole thing as a bit of fun and the day that fun stops is the day I will stop. I will stop making videos. I don't need to make a living from YouTube. I, I'm lucky enough. Uh, I'm financially secure. I don't need to do that. So um, if it stops being fun, I will stop making them, but I will let you know. But that's not to say that I don't take pride in what I do. And, uh, these videos may not be brilliant, they may not be great, but they are the best I can do. Um, at the end of the day, uh, I'm opening myself up to criticism on YouTube and ridicule with this haircut. So, you know, I do my best to make the best content I can. Now, I don't mind that not many people watch my videos. I, I've said this many times in the past, I don't make these films for views. I do it to give myself something to do, but I do care that people enjoy them. Now, I don't mind people criticising my videos. It doesn't bother me at all. What I don't like is uh, when I get a thumbs down on a video, but then that hasn't been like followed up with a comment. Um, I think perhaps that should be a rule on YouTube that if you dislike a video, you should tell the maker or the, the content creator why you didn't like it. You know, I mean, uh, for small little channels like me, how do I know how to improve? Um, if uh, if I'm not getting constructive criticism, um, you know, uh, I won't know um, how I'm going to supposed to improve my videos. Now, uh, like I said, I don't get that many thumbs downs, um, but when I do, um, it is like a little bit of a uh, like a bit a little bit of a dagger to the heart, but. Uh, not in the way you might think. I, I, you know, I welcome the thumbs down, but I want to know why somebody doesn't like a video. If it's a personal reason, if you don't like me, fine, just tell me. I, you know, I mean, I'm old enough and big enough and brave enough to uh, to take that. <laughs> no, I am. Uh, I spent uh, thirty odd years in a predominantly male work environment. I got a thick skin. Anyway, looking to the future. Uh, I'd like to make my films look much more uh, cinematic than they do now. Uh, so that is going to involve, uh, I think, uh, getting better editing software and getting better editing software skills. Um, Film-wise, I think I can make things look reasonably nice, you know, comply with the normal rules of photographic composition, you know, rule of thirds, rule of odds, things like that. And you know, like this, I've got like a, a, a relatively interesting background. Perhaps it's a bit too busy, I don't know. But you know what I mean? It's like, um, I'm probably saying that. No, I probably got a stick grown out of my head. I don't know. Um, it can't be any worse than it is. Um, so while I'm taking a break, perhaps I will look into uh, how I can go about improving the look of my videos. Anyway, uh, that is it. Uh, it is now, uh, according to my calendar, the 27th of March. 5th of February, really. But it's the 27th of March, or the, uh, sometime after that you'll be watching this. 
and um, I'm going to take at least a month off. Uh, so I'm not going to be back now until um, probably the middle of May. So um, stick with us. Uh, yeah, we haven't given up. Um, and unless something happens to me between now and then, I will be making more videos, rest assured. Um, right, uh, that is it. Uh, thanks uh, as ever for watching. Uh, Dexter and I really do uh, appreciate your views, we appreciate your comments, uh, we appreciate your thumbs ups and your thumbs downs, but tell me why. Tell me why you don't like the video. Um, I hope you found this in some way interesting and enlightening. I'm not going to leave you with uh, a montage of images this week. I'm going to leave you with some uh, cobbled together drone and GoPro uh, footage from years gone by. Uh, thanks very much. Take care of yourselves. Uh, don't catch COVID. Stay well. Uh, get the vaccine if you can. Uh, and uh, Dexter and I will see you in a few weeks' time. Take care. Bye-bye.